begin in Israel with reports of confessions in the murder of an Arab teenager. Officials say three Jewish suspects have now admitted to killing the teen who was abducted from East Jerusalem and burned to death last week. Meanwhile, the violence continues on Israel's volatile front with the Gaza Strip. CCTV's Roe Rettenberg is in Tel Aviv. And Roe, what's the latest there? Well, in the last few hours, the security cabinet of the prime minister uh, finished their three-hour meeting. The prime minister's government announcing uh, that they would beef up uh, their uh, offensive against uh, what they consider to be terrorist and militant operations in Gaza, saying that they will stop short of a full ground invasion. But they did not uh, notify reservists, some 1,500 of them, that they would be called up to duty uh, in preparations. Those words coming from the government uh, tonight here in Israel. Additionally, we understand that uh, shortly after that announcement, some 35 rockets within a matter of minutes uh, landed in various areas of southern Israel. Uh, that brings the total today to more than 70 rockets coming from Gaza, Israel retaliating uh, with airstrikes. We understand that at least one four-year-old was injured in one of those airstrikes. And of course, last night we saw one of the largest single strikes casualties in Gaza. Nine people killed. Israel says seven of, seven of them Hamas activists, two of them from Islamic Jihad. Things are intensifying here. And tonight, Elaine, for the first time in quite a while, we heard sirens not just in southern Israel, but in central Israel, even in Jerusalem. We understand now those may have been false sirens. And we understand from witnesses in the West Bank town of Bethlehem, the Palestinian town, that some, uh, some uh, 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 materials uh, from projectiles actually landed there as well, quite a distance. And Rowie, what about the Palestinian politics of it all? You have a lot of groups in Gaza fighting for control and fighting to respond. <clears throat> Indeed, and not to be done by the outdone by the Israeli politics today, the foreign minister, Avigdor Lieberman, who wanted tougher action in Gaza, announcing that he would split uh, his party's alliance from Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. They had formed an alliance before the elections. Uh, uh, now that seems to have been a marriage that's turned into a divorce. He says, however, he will not collapse the government. And also the Palestinians, we've seen calls for a tougher response. Uh, people disappointed by the uh, uh, technocrat unity government uh, saying that there needs to be an all-faction uh, government in Gaza that's capable of responding to the Israeli, what they perceive to be the aggression from Israel. And quickly, we understand that you did spend some time today with the Abu Qadir family. Were they pleased by the arrest and now the confessions? They want to see more than arrest. They want to see more than confessions. They want to see justice. They said they want more than just answers. And they've asked the Israeli government to follow the same procedures that it invokes on Arabs who are involved in terrorism, specifically Arabs from the West Bank, which is to raise their homes. It wants to see the homes of the Jewish terrorists that they say also raised to the ground. That's unlikely to happen, though, Elaine. All right. CCTV's Rory Rettenberg in Tel Aviv.